Yeah, the money, that's what a former mayor is saying to the current administration. And it's happening in Brighton, Tennessee, just north of Memphis and Tipton County. The town's former mayor is questioning what happened to $1 million he says was there when he left office. We sent local I-Team senior investigator Jenny DiPrizio to uncover the truth. Former Brighton Mayor Gus Smith says when he left office as the town's mayor, there was a million dollars in CDs in the town's bank account. Now, there's not. Somebody needs to be responsible for where the money went. Former Brighton Mayor Gus Smith says when he left office, the city of Brighton had six CDs worth a million bucks in the bank. But what happened to that money is the big question. I was in high school in 2003, so I'm not real sure where the money was then. Mayor Sarah Crocker took office in 2016 and says she's trying to get to the bottom of Smith's accusations. We've called the bank because it was 15 years ago to see where these monies are when they were cashed in. So far, Crocker says that hasn't helped solve the mystery. The bank's records only go back six years. I don't like the word missing, like they're just disappeared. I think that maybe they cashed them in and I guess Gus wasn't notified that we cashed them in. The town cashed them in to pay for some things. I, I really couldn't tell you. Crocker says Brighton's a small town that's taken on some big expenses since Smith left office such as streetscaping and paving, hiring a full-time fire chief and paying for a 24-hour police protection. Crocker's hunch is the money was spent connected to grants during the previous administration. Former Mayor Jeff Scott resigned in 2016 after pleading guilty to theft after he was caught using city employees to work on his son's home. Smith isn't accusing the current mayor of any wrongdoing. I believe Sarah is honest as the day is long. But added... Sarah should have come in and had a full audit when she come in. That way she knew where she stood. As for the CD, Crocker says she knows the status of three of them. So it's three that are in question. She wants to solve this money mystery so everyone can move on. In Brighton, Jenny DiPrizio, Local 24 News.